All right, for our third video, we're going to look at um, dividing uh, with, with decimals, but then what happens if we run out of numbers? So let's first look at our first example here. We're going to take 6 and 65 hundredths, and we're going to divide that by 2. Okay, and let's start. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the decimal point right above the decimal point in the problem. Okay, now I'm working with the stylus, so it's not as exact. I should probably, there you go, that's a little bit better. But we want to make sure that we have that decimal point there. That's the first thing you should do when you see a decimal point in a problem, is put the decimal point on the line. Now let's do, let's do the dividing. How many times does 2 go into 6? That's 3. Put answer on top. Multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. Put answer on bottom. Subtract. Bring down the next number, which is a 6. We start the problem again. How many times is process again? Not the problem. 2 go into 6. That is still going to be 3. Multiply. Put the answer on the bottom. Subtract. 0. Bring down the next number. 5. How many times does 2 go into 5? 2, 4. The answer is 4. Put it up there. Put answer. Oops, not 4. Duh. I'm sorry. Misled you there. The answer should be 4. But the answer is actually 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. Put answer on bottom, subtract. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if this was not a decimal problem, this would be our remainder. But because we are in decimal land, we cannot have a remainder. We have to keep going until it terminates or comes to a 0 when we subtract. So what we do is we add a 0 at the end, and then we bring that down. So now we ask, how many times does 2 go into 10? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 5. Put answer on top. Multiply. Put answer on bottom. And then we subtract. Now, boys and girls, if you've noticed, we got it to terminate, which means it ends in 0, 0. And we did that by adding 1, 0. So our answer is 3.325. Let's look at another example here. All right, let's look at 6 into 54.75. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move that decimal point and make sure that it is right there. Notice how I make a big old fat decimal point? That's what we want because we don't want it to, we don't want to forget it. We don't want to lose it because that decimal point is important. Now, once we have the decimal point, we're ready to do some math. How many six, five, sixes can I take out of five? None. It's too small. How many sixes can I take out of 54? Well, that's a different problem because six times nine is 54. Put the answer on top. Multiply. Six times nine is 54. Put the answer on the bottom. Subtract. Bring down my next number, which is seven. Oh, yeah, 007. How many sixes can I take out of seven? Well, that's one, one group. Put answer on top, multiply, one times six is six, put answer on bottom, and I'm gonna subtract one. I'm gonna bring down my next number, which is the five. Next, six into 15. Hopefully you know that is two. Six times two is 12, put the answer there. Subtract, three, zero. Now, boys and girls, I cannot, when dealing with decimals, I cannot have a remainder. So what I have to do, remember, it's got to terminate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 0 and bring that down right here. And now I can say how many 6s go into 30. 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Oh, right on. So that's going to be 5. 6 times 5 is 30. I multiply, put answer on bottom, subtract, and we have termination. Termination, And that's what we want, because once we have termination, we are done. If we don't have termination, we could continue adding zeros until it happens. But conveniently, we, it terminated right there. One more problem for this one. Let's look at 141 and 2 tenths divided by 5. All right. First thing we're going to do is what? Oh, yes, of course. We're going to put our decimal point right there, right above it. Now we're ready to do the math. 
5 into 1, can't do it. 5 into 14, hopefully you know that's 2, because that's 10. Subtract, 4, bring down the 1, 5 into 41, hopefully you know that's 8. Multiply, that's 40, 1, 0, bring down the 2. 1 in 5 into 12, that's going to be 2. Multiply, 10. Subtract, 2, 0. Now, nothing more to bring down, but we cannot have a remainder. So we need to have, it needs to be terminating. So we're going to add a 0, bring that down. And then we have 5 into 20, which is 4. Multiply, put an answer on bottom, and then subtract. And now we have terminating. So then we are done. So the answer is 28 and 24 hundredths. All right, so that's the lesson part of that. Next one is going to, next video is going to, I have got four problems for you. So when you're ready, um, it's time to move forward.